I'd like to call to order the tonight's meeting of the City of Downport Plan Zone Commission today, April 16th. I'd like to ask everybody in the audience to please turn off your cell phones as they will and can interfere with our audio recording. We will start off with the public hearing. Roll call, please. Schneider. Here. Lammers. Here. Med. Here. Johnson. Here. Hallman here. Ingram. Present. Connell. Here. Hepner. Here. Bransgard. Here. Reinhardt's. Here. Manus. We have a quorum, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Commissioner Tallman. First item of business is public hearing for case REZ 19-02, the request of Jennifer Smith, SJ56 LLC Russell to rezone Lot 1 of Crow Valley Plaza, 12th edition, from CT Commercial Transitional District to COP Commercial Office Park property containing 9.58 acres and is located on East 56th Street, east of Utica Ridge Road. Scott. Scott Copes, Community Planning. Um, so everybody probably remembers this from the last few times we've been up here, but I do have a, an overview slide. Um, so the original request um, was to rezone the CT. Um, it's now being proposed to be rezoned to CT to um, C-OP, which is Office Park. Um, the petitioner wanted the request primarily to reduce this um, 5,000 square foot limitation that's involved in the CT. Um, and so throughout the process, the petitioner has agreed to a 35 foot height limitation on the building and they've agreed to prohibit uh, the following uses, restaurants, um, light industrial, auto sales and rental, and hotels. Um, kind of the advantages of the petitioner picking office park over transitional, um, you know, for the adjacent property owners, um, there's a greater setback required in the, the proposed district office park. Uh, there's a greater rear yard setback as well that would be required. And the types of uses that are typically at an office park, um, there's less traffic on the weekends and t typically less traffic overall than some uh, retail uses and other types of uses that were allowed in the C1. So th as this is a public hearing at this time, there is no recommendation. We'll do that at the next portion of the meeting. Is there any questions before uh, the petitioner? Thank you, Scott. Commissioners, any questions at this time? I see none. Thank you, Scott. Would the petitioner like to step forward? Jennifer Smith with Russell, um, as we've discussed this many times uh, before, but we're back again primarily for that 5,000 square foot um, limitation, uh, the removal of that. Um, the COP I think is a good middle ground for the adjacent property owners and I will say in addition to the freestanding restaurant, we've also agreed to just um, prohibit any res restaurant use. Um, I think there was some concern over some outside dining, that type of a thing, and we said that's not a problem with us. So we could further restrict to that restaurant um, prohibit prohibition as well um, but otherwise I think everything was pretty much either recapped at the last time we talked um, or in Scott's recap there so if they're happy to answer any questions but kind of more of the same tonight commissioners any questions of the petitioner seeing none thank you Jennifer would anybody in favor of the petition like to step forward and state their case seeing none would anybody in opposition of the petition like to step forward good evening rusty under zuber resident of the sixth ward uh, well the biggest question i have is i do not understand why if the petitioner is only looking for building size relief we are not looking at this simply under the clause in CT, it's in the new zoning code 170530.B that allows buildings greater than 5,000 square feet under some very, what I consider, flexible conditions. And we would avoid all this, what's an accepted use, what's a prohibited use, what's really going to happen. And uh, I really, looking at that clause, it looks like it was written for cases like this, so why are we rezoning this whole thing? Thank you. Thank you. 
Next. Good evening. Patricia Harris, Six Ward. Uh, I had filed an opposition. I will say that if the uh, petition is allowed subject to the conditions that have been allowed, outlined the height restriction, um, the uses as recommended by the city and as further uh, stipulated by Russell, uh, that apart from the water issues that have been raised, certainly allay my main concerns. And I just want to express that I really appreciate the city's uh, Ms. Smith's and Alderman Cluel's engagement on this issue. It's been very helpful. Thank, Thank you, you for your comments. Next. Good evening, Connie Jones, Sixth Ward. Um, I'd like to thank this commission for having a second hearing. I think there was some confusion, you know, at least in my mind at the last meeting about what were we asking for exact. So that gave us a little more time to sort things out. Um, also gave us time to correspond with our alderman and um, there has been some compromise, uh, as Ms. Smith said, um, they're willing to strike restaurants also <coughs> as a prohibited use. So my main concerns when it was C1 um, were the uses. So with them striking that and all the other prohibited ones, I think we're getting close back to almost to what we have right now under CT. So I'm good with that. Uh, the building height restriction um, is in um, uh, the also at 35 feet, which gets us back equivalent to what the current zoning is. So I think we've solved that one. And my third concern, as I mentioned to you um, a few weeks ago, was the water runoff. And so um, our alderman has talked to the city engineer, uh, put us on regular maintenance to have the drain tiles cleaned out there, um, and has indicated that the new water, the city's new water manual, um, gives us some assurance that we won't have any more exacerbation of water runoff um, than what we're seeing today. I hope that's the case. Um, especially with a much larger footprint building, uh, the velocity, and I'm, I'm not an engineer, I, I can't speak to that, but um, I guess I will go on uh, good faith. And again, thank Jennifer and Alderman and all of you for uh, working with us to try to find a good solution between Commerce and the residents who have to, you know, we've invested there as well. So thank you. Thank you for your comments. Next. Hi, my name is Tim Walsh. Walsh. I'm with the. I'm in the sixth ward. Um, my property abuts uh, the new uh, the new building that they're going to put up. I had recently purchased the property two years ago and did some extent uh, extensive reservations, uh, and just received my new prop property assessment, and it's gone up considerably. And my concern is when I moved in there, this was only supposed to be a 5,000 square foot building on this lot and now you're telling me it could go a lot higher than that uh, so there's a, a great concern on my part regarding the value of my property and um, also water runoff there's a creek that runs in back of my property also that right now can't handle the existing water that's going into there and uh, you know building more properties out there will only make that worse so thank you thank you any additional comments? Commission, any questions? Commissioner Lammers. Should we clarify the first um, speaker's question on why, what's different between the zoning and the existing zoning? I think we'll get to that at okay. the next. <clears throat> Thank you. Any additional questions? Seeing none, we will close. Uh, this case and move on to the second item, which is case REZ 19-05, the request of John Wolf to rezone 1601 West Kimberly Road from R1 single family residential district to I1 light industrial district property containing 0 0.42 acres. Brandon? Thank you, Brandon Melton with Community Planning. Um, so We'll start with a clicker that worked. <coughs> um, so reason, uh, 
the, the reason for the request was to establish a business office for John Wolf Septic Service. Um, he wants to put a sign out front and uh, potentially would establish some indoor storage for his equipment. Um, this we actually found was a hole in our, in our land use plan, so we do not have a designation for the future land use plan. And a neighborhood meeting was held on April 9th um, this year. General location map, um, it's just northwest of uh, where Kimberly, West Kimberly Road meets West 60th Street. There's the hole. Um, we have to the south, uh, residential general, to the north, agricultural reserve. Um, that is generally the theme in that area, um, mostly agricultural reserve with some uh, patches of residential general out there. And here's the uh, zoning map, um, and you can see the property zone R1. Um, the properties to the northwest are zone I1, and I'll kind of uh, talk about that a little bit in the next slide. Um, so it'll maybe become a little more clear of why, why it got that designation. So prior to the new zoning ordinance, uh, that property was zone C2. Um, that is similar to the properties that are to the northwest um, that were um, also um, zoned C2 at the time that are now zoned I1. So the rezoning to R1 um, was, was uh, decided because we, when we looked at each of the parcels, we um, determined you know, what the existing zoning was, but also looked at the existing use. And at the time, of the uh, zoning ordinance update, um, it was being used as a single family home. Um, I'm gonna back up actually to the zoning map. So um, in, the pr in the zoning ordinance previous, um, C so where those I uh, properties are zoned I1, those were zoned C2 and as was the subject property. Um, some definitions for each of the zoning districts, if we need to talk about that. And then um, the next steps for, for moving this item forward. So I'll take any questions if you have them. Thank you, Brandon. Commissioners, any questions at this time? Commissioner Lammers. Sir, are you, will it be zoned, the I designation, or because you said it wasn't currently zoned, it was a miss? Uh, it wasn't a miss. So, so my uh, what was where, where there wasn't uh, a, a designation was for the future land use map. Okay. So um, we did not have a designation for the future land use map. It is currently zoned R one. That was part of the zoning ordinance update, and that's how we zoned it. It was zoned C two before, and I was just making the point that um, there were similar uh, zone, zoned. Um, similarly zoned parcels to the northwest. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Commissioner Reinhardt. Thank you. Um, if we re if, if the zoning is changed and it and the septic company goes in there, um, will there be septic storage there? Uh, will there be truck washing going on there? Will there be concerns for odors and runoff and the things associated with septic fields and septic business? Uh, good question. Uh, I think I can answer part of that. I believe that the storage area is going to be specifically for the trucks and that none of the, um, the materials that, that correspond with the business are going to be stored on site. But the uh, property owner is here, the business owner is here, and he may be able to answer some of those questions too. Typically, they wash equipment as well. Will they be washing equipment there with runoff? And what, will the runoff be captured in our sewer system, or will it be in a pond? Or again, what's that, the plan there? Yeah, that'll be up to I. I don't know the plan there um, at this point. Uh, we haven't uh, gone that far into it, but the the business owners here to answer some of those questions too. Okay, fine. Thank you, yep. Commissioner Tallman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Brandon, you mentioned that there was a meeting on April 9th looks like seven people showed up right any major uh, concerns most, or that we need you know, to be yeah there was one neighbor yeah, um, and then on, okay. owner and an acquaintance of, of his and then a um, couple of a uh, couple of uh, aldermen and Bob's here too okay. yeah it was just yeah. one neighbor and she was just curious what was going in there she had no 
issues at all. And she is not present tonight. She was aware of the meeting. Any additional questions? Thank you, Brandon. Yeah, thank you. Would the petitioner like to step forward and explain his petition? And possibly answer a couple of questions. Sure. I'm John Wolf with John Wolf Septic. And if you guys got any questions, um, I'll feel free to answer them. Commissioner Reinhardt, do you want to? Certainly. Um, thank you. Um, I guess the questions I had were uh, the storage of your equipment right. and the odors and um, the byproducts from septic and the washing of your equipment. How are you going to, I guess, protect both the environment and the in, in, in the neighbor, neighboring folks um, from some of the issues associated with <clears throat> septic cleaning and septic pumping? Well, I can... Uh, I'd probably wash the trucks like one time a week or whatever, and that'd be inside the shop, and we can have like a tank or s something like that, you know, in ground, uh, like a oil separator, you know, tank. I mean, will will you be flushing your septic? Not the inside, just the outside. <clears throat> but I mean, when you when you wash the vehicles or when you do any cleaning of the vehicles is this all going to go into our storm sewer system or is it going to go into our waste system um you know what is the impact to the the city's uh, infrastructure related to your business i guess cleaning your equipment and and your trucks um are we going to have to deal with it probably i guess i've never dealt with this before you know <clears throat> i mean if washing the trucks is you know i could always you know take it elsewhere that you know pressure wash the road grime off of the trucks okay well i'm sure our staff folks will take all those things into consideration then just to elaborate on that there is no storm drainage collection system out there okay at this point there is no infrastructure i think that's something that the petitioner and staff will have to work out for our next okay. meeting thank you, you bet. any additional questions of the petitioner at this time seeing none thank you all right thank you guys for your time would anybody else like to speak in favor of this petition would anybody like to speak in opposition? Seeing none, last chance for questions from commissioners. Seeing none, we will close REZ 19-05 and move on to our regular meeting as that concludes our public hearing. Roll call, please. Schneider. Here. Lammers. Here. Med. Here. Johnson. Here. Tallman here. Ingram. Present. Connell. Present. Hepner. Here. Bransgard. Here. Reinhardt. Here. We have a quorum, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Commissioner Tallman. Report of City Council activity. There was two items, um, P19-1 failed and P, uh, and F19-1 was adopted. Thank you, Scott. Secretary's report? Move report. Second. Second. All in favor of the Secretary's report signify by aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, that will stay as written. Report of Compliant Commission, did you have anything, Scott, or? Not that I'm aware of, no. Thank uh, you. Although with this case that we found a gap, we'll be putting, uh, we'll be fixing that here shortly. So sure. Thank you, Scott. Zoning, zoning activity, Commissioner Tallman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just one case tonight uh, under old business case REZ 19-02, requested Jennifer Smith, SJ56 LLC Russell, to rezone Lot One of Crow Valley Plaza, 12th edition from C2 Commercial Transitional District to COP Commercial Office Park 
property contains 9.5 acres and is located on East 56th Street, East Utica Ridge Road. Staff recommends the Planning Zoning Commission accept the listed findings in forward case REZ 19-02 to the City Council with a recommendation for approval subject to the listed two conditions and I so move. Case number REZ 19-02 has been moved and seconded for discussion. Scott? Um, the findings um, are as presented in your staff report that the future <coughs> land use is residential general, that a residential general allows for transitional uses, um, that the COP uh, with conditions meets the transitional uses under RG, and that the COP with conditions protects adjoining, adjoining a residential. Uh, the proposed COP is an expansion of the existing COP out in the site. There's already existing COP to the east and to the south. And the petitioner data indicates that the limited demand exists for small office buildings 5,000 square feet or less. Um, with that, uh, staff recommends that this go forward to City Council with a recommendation for approval subject to the following conditions, that the building height be limited to 35 feet and that the following uses are prohibited, uh, restaurants, uh, this says standalone. Um, if you want to make a motion later to amend this to just say just s restaurants rather than standalone <coughs> restaurants, you can. Um, vehicle dealership or rental, um, hotel and light industrial. Any questions? Thank you, Scott. Commissioners, any questions? Commissioner Lammers. I think for purposes of clarity, I'd like to make a motion to take out the word stand alone. And second. It's been moved and seconded to remove the word stand alone from 2.8. Uh, any discussion? Seeing none. You want to roll call? I don't think we need roll call. Let's uh, let's just take. Uh, all Susan, you made the motion. Yes, and Reagan seconded. Okay. All those in favor of removing the word "standalone" from the item 2.A signify by aye. 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 Opposed. Hearing none, that passed unanimously. Any additional questions of staff? Commissioner Lammers. Just a clarification for the gentleman's question that he posed earlier. Staff had, have any comment on the question that was asked during the public um, hearing? I believe the question was why did they choose COP instead of CT? Um, is that correct? Yeah. No. I. I Oh, why didn't they just stay the way they were right now? Well, like uh, there's an application before us, so we have to act on the application. So I guess the petitioner can address why they wanted to rezone it. But um, uh, there are different uses associated with the two districts, and I, we've gone through them. But uh, Any additional questions of staff? Seeing none, thank you, Scott. Again, would the petitioner like to step forward? Uh, we did look at those exceptions that were in the current CT. I don't recall the language off the top of my head right now, um, but it was still, there was a little bit of discretionary um, input as to whether those would qualify or not. Um, and again, kind of what we went over the very first time in the essence of time of getting approvals through in the event we had someone that had a larger than 5,000 square foot footprint. Um, you know, if we could fit it into those exceptions, that'd be great, but there's no guarantee of that. And the whole reason of being before us is to, to avoid that three month lag in the event that we had a development that came forward. So it just wasn't expressly clear as to what those exceptions would apply to, uh, depending on a use and unknown use. So that's why we just decided to proceed with the rezoning application. Thank you. Thank you. Any additional questions from s commissioners for the petitioner? Seeing none, would anybody in the audience like to step forward and speak either in favor or opposition? Seeing none, last chance for questions, commissioners. Again, seeing none, roll call, please. 
Schneider? Yes. Lammers? Yes. Ned? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Tallman? Yes. Connell? Yes. Hepner? Yes. Bransgard? Yes. And Reinhardt's? Yes. Motion carries, Mr. Chairman. That concludes the report. Thank you. I'd like to take a moment, and I, too, would like to thank everybody, staff, the neighbors, the petitioner, the commission, for uh, what I think was a very well-orchestrated discussion. There were differences, a lot of differences at the very start. Uh, I think this got, while it did get drug out a little bit, and I want to thank the petitioner for her patience, uh, I, I think this was a good result, and uh, I'd like to see more cooperation like this in the future where we can all work together and come to an amicable solution. Again, I want to thank everybody. We will move on. I see no subdivision activity. We have one future business or two future business items. Communication time. Would anybody in the audience like to bring up any additional communications? Seeing none, other business? Anybody, either the commission or staff, have any additional business? No comments? In that case? Move to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor of adjournment, signify by aye. 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 Opposed? We are adjourned, and thank you for your attendance. Please drive safely. Yes, yes.